Welcome everyone to this really good tutorial. I haven't done these in a long time, but yes. So do you want crosshairs on your light gun games on the GonCon the original and GonCon 2? Well, I'll show you. It's that easy. All you have to do, it, here's the link. Uh, if I need to go to notes, here we go. So this is the corresponding link. It will also be in the description underneath the video as well. So download this uh, from any search engine. Here's an example what it looks like on Mega. So download the crosshairs pack and once you've got it on stalled on your desktop, unzip it of course and then this is the folder you'll get. Open it up and this is where you get all the crosshairs. And I also got some two custom ones as well to show you as well how you use that as well. Some of them actually uh, scale too big but I will show you a simple trick how to get it shrinking down the wash it if it were. <laughs> so. Once you've gotten that all sorted out, we're going to jump onto the PS2 emulator right here. And we're going to go on the setting. Actually, we'll play this game first so you'll see the crosshair. This is the crosshair on your screen. Now, if you want to enable it, guys, go to settings, go to controllers, go to this uh, USB 1 port, GunCon 2. So it'll be on the side. So it'll be not connected the first time. So go to GunCon 2. Set up your bindings for your triggers and then off screen. Um, this is a very important note, guys. For the calibration shot for the beginning of the screens of all light gun games on Namco's games, you can press the space bar once and that will bypass uh, or should we say realign the, the uh, crosshairs on your screen. Uh, I would suggest you experiment with your mappings as well if you like. Um, now, if we want to put a different crosshair on this, you go to cursor path right here and then browse. So we want to go to my desktop here, crosshairs, open this, let's put gold on this and that will be all done. Then close. Voila, voila, there you go. Now this is the screen for the GunCon 2. Press the space bar and it should go bang like that and then bypass, press A button or B button. Same on your actual light gun controller. And there you go guys. So um, I'll show you a little example of gameplay using the cursor on the screen. But yes, right, here we go. Shoot, shoot, and it's fantastic. Now, here's a really cool trick. Now, say you want a custom cursor, or should we say it's not a custom cursor, I meant say a custom crosshair. Um, I actually downloaded these two here, but I'll show you, it actually blows up too big, but there's a trick to this. So settings, go to controllers. Now go to this, settings, of course, go to path and then go to desktop and boom, open and then close. Now you notice this is way too big. You go like, oh, I can't play with that. That's too much. Well, there's a solution to this. Go to settings, go to controllers, Go to GunCon settings and then scale it down to 10%. Just 10. And then there you go. That's fixed it for you. And then now you will have custom cursors, which is really rad. Yeah, it's so cool. And now I will show you how to do this on the Duck Station emulator. Here we go. Here is the MLA for Duck Station. So you want to find GunCon, go to your controller tab and then go to Gun, gun Port 1. That's where your GunCon will be. So the buying settings and you could auto map this as well. It's really handy as well. Um, however, for the space bar, you just press the space bar like normal on the PS, PS2 emulator like this one. Um, so yeah, and the really cool thing guys, there's one also for Justifier's uh, gun as well. Um, which doesn't have a calibration screen like Namco's does um, but it's hidden in certain games so you're going to have to go and look for them which is kind of odd, I don't know why but hey, we're going to stick with the GunCon for now and there you go guys, that's how you find it and uh, if you want to change the cursor as well you go to settings, same thing, 10% scale and then of course change your crosshair that's it, set up screen is now so here we go, press spacebar once and then shoot and then go there we are we want to do like that all right 
And uh, basically, this is how you play Ligon games on PS2 and PS1. If you found this tutorial excellent and useful, um, like the video, share it on your social media, and thanks for watching, guys. You guys have been fantastic with the support lately. I truly appreciate it. Thanks very much. And uh, I'd like to ask a favor of you guys. Can you help me reach 5K subscribers? And I'm going to do an awesome giveaway for the Nintendo Switch 2. You can make my dream happen, guys. Let's go. And, uh, and I'll see you around. Take care, guys. And I'll do a little gameplay. Thank you very much for watching.